All right, guys, part three, let's finish this up. Uh, if you guys are keeping up, we're kind of right here. Um, it says we're going to do the same thing for our Burger King meal. And we're going to go ahead and, and sell H1, enter the text, my Burger King meal. H2, double Whopper with cheese, large fries. All right, so let's go back to our spreadsheet and let's go back to my meals. Uh, it says we're going to start out cell range H1 through K11. And in cell H1, we're going to do my Burger King meal. So H1, my Burger King meal. And I'm going to go ahead and widen up those columns by double clicking and doing a little auto fit thing. All right, um, H2, is that where we're going now? Um, all right, sorry, animals abound. All right, so uh, you're gonna see in cell H1, my Burger King meal, we've already done that. In cell H2, enter double Whopper with cheese and large fry. I'm just gonna copy this. Um, try that again, Control C, in cell H2. Control V. I'm gonna definitely need to auto fit that. Double Whopper with cheese, large fry. Um, what else are we doing? We're doing a bacon cheeseburger and large fry. Control C. Control V. And what else are we doing here? Premium chicken sandwich grilled. And large fry, it's supposed to say. My bad. Let's do that right now. And large fry. All right. So we're going to copy and we're going to paste. Boom. Auto fit again. And I might have to work my way over here a little bit. So here's my Burger King meal right here. I'm going to go ahead and bold this out. I don't know if it says so, but it bothers me there. Um, and it says, enter the calories, fat, and carbs and sell J, uh, I1, J1, and K1 respectively. I1, J1, K1. All right. So we're doing calories, fat, carbs. Cows, tab, fat, tab, carbs. All right, so we're gonna do formulas across multiple worksheets. I'm gonna do this once with you and then I'm gonna kind of pause it and show you what the finished result should look like. So start out with your equal sign again. This time we're gonna go to the Burger King worksheet and watch your formulas bar up here, people. All right, double Whopper with cheese and large fry. So go to the Burger King tab, double Whopper with cheese, um, right here, we're doing calories, double Whopper with cheese. We're going to say plus large fry right down here. Uh, and notice how it says salted as if any fries aren't. And when you're done, you're going to press enter and it's going to jump back. And you're going to see that the double Whopper with cheese is, uh, calorie wise is 1,490. All right. I'm going to do the same thing for the bacon cheeseburger, large fry. I'm going to find the fat and the carbs for the Whopper with cheese. Let's do that first. Equals, let's do fat for the Whopper with cheese. Uh, double Whopper with sandwich with cheese. Um, fat is right here. Plus, the fat from the large fry is only four grams. That's not too bad. And then carbs equals, we're going to jump back to the Burger King. We're going to find the double Whopper with cheese. We're going to say plus, and then large fry equals. All right, so carbs 125. Do the same thing for the bacon cheeseburger and the large fry. Find all three of these. And then the premium chicken grilled, um, sa uh, sandwich grilled and large fry. All right, and then come back to me when you're done. We're back and these are the numbers I got. Hopefully they're correct. Um, it's kind of tedious, right? Now that I've actually done this assignment with you guys. Uh, so here you can see the premium grilled chicken sandwich, you know, is uh, less healthy for you than the bacon cheeseburger and the large fry, um, which is weird. You think grilled chicken, you think healthy, but no, not so much. It's probably a huge piece of grilled chicken or something like that. I don't think I've ever had it. Um, so there's the Burger King meal. You can kind of compare it to the McDonald's meal and let's see what else we have to do for the directions here because we're almost done, right? Use the same method you did in the McDonald's activity, calculate, we already did that. So how many calories should you intake in one day? So the sad part here is we're not going to calculate formulas across multiple worksheets for the Wendy's worksheet, but we did. We went ahead and crunched the numbers here for Wendy's as well. As far as formulas across multiple worksheets, um, we're just going to kind of stop with the McDonald's uh, meals and the Burger King meals. All right. And your worksheet should kind of look like this as far as my meals go. 
Um, we're not going to go ahead and calculate the average. I think you get the idea with sums and things like that. There is one other thing that I wanted to bring your attention before I end this video and before my cat crazy because he's like literally going insane right in back of me. Um, I'm going to do something called concatenate. Under the formulas tab, you're going to see a text function called concatenate. And what concatenate actually does is it puts two words together, two words from two different cells together into one cell. So check this out. I'm going to click in cell H7. I'm going to click concatenate, and it's going to say text one, text two, and then what do I want to do? So um, for text one, let's say I want to go ahead and uh, I want to fill text one with um, the Angus Deluxe from McDonald's worksheet. And text two, I'm going to press the hyphen on my keyboard. Oh, there, not an underscore hyphen. For text three, Let's say that I want to go ahead and say um, Angus Deluxe hyphen, and then I want to say large fry from the McDonald's when you learn large French fry. So I click and sell McDonald's, McDonald's worksheet cell A34, and then go ahead and press OK on your worksheet. And look what it does. It puts together the Angus Deluxe text separated by a hyphen and large French fry sandwich. Go ahead and try that again with another menu item, let's say from Burger King. Start with your function, your um, text function called concatenate. Um, for text one, click on the Burger King worksheet and say, I don't know, anything, double bacon cheeseburger. Go ahead and type in the hyphen here for text two, and for text three, go ahead and say, like, french fries, salted, or something like that, and say, okay, okay. I put together two pieces of text using concatenate. I'll be looking for that when I grade your worksheets. All right, this is a really good lesson on formulas across multiple worksheets. We looked at different functions, um, minimum, maximum. Average functions, we already knew the sum function. We also threw in a text function there at the very end called concatenate. And we also looked at how to calculate across multiple worksheets. We looked at how bad fast food really is for us. Um, no matter what you do, if you're eating three meals a day, you're gonna get past uh, your average calorie count of what you should intake per day. Unless you're a super active person, like, you know, like a marathon runner or something like that. Um, anyway. That's this video. That's part three. I hope you guys learned something from this, and I hope it opened your eyes on how bad some of this fast food stuff is, even though it tastes so good. Oh, I'll see you in the next video.